What did she sell? Wait until you see this. She sold this Disney Radco Cinderella ornament for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, we are gonna talk about 32 big money, unexpected Bolo items. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Oh my goodness, wait until you see some of these. These first four that I'm gonna show you are gonna knock your socks off. Um, he is a major bolo finder, this guy. And I was so excited when he joined memberships because he brings the fire. And you guys are gonna see some really cool items here. So we are gonna get started. And these are people that have joined Bolo Buddies memberships to be featured in a video like this. All right, the first item comes from Amazing Steals and Deals. And his store is fantastic. I will link it down below. Definitely go and check him out. But what I love about his store is he sells anything from bread and butter, easy to find items to huge, big money bolos. So check out his store. It is fantastic. All right. The first item. Love this. And also he is not afraid to pay up for an item if he knows that it is a bolo. He said he went to an estate sale and found this. They had $100 on it, but he searched comps and knew that it was going to sell quick and for big money. This is a 1970s United Airlines Hawaii. Oh, I don't know how to say this word. The Menahue, Menahune, I don't know, of Hawaii figure. Display promo mint. Check it out. How cool is that? And um, you guys, this sold for $500. Uh, so sold on eBay for 500 bucks. Check it out. And he's got great photos showing all sides so people can clearly see the condition to include the bottom. So the next item is this unusual large MCM, which stands for mid-century modern, if you don't know, Murano Italian art glass blue centerpiece, bowl vase in mint condition. Um, it says this item was bought on a trip to Italy many, many years ago in mint condition. He said this came from his mother's estate, so it was free to him. And he sold this for $450 best offer with free shipping on that one. The next item is this Rockman, Vintage Rockman X100 headphone amplifier effects processor, uh, Tom Schultz SRND Reed. And it says, from my father's estate, mint condition, except for one small surface scratch seen in the last photo. So you can see here, he has disclosed the information. I always recommend you put it right up here at the top so people can see it. You cannot do this from the app. You have to go into a desktop to add this part of the condition under the condition, like if you wanna add details. I hope that eBay will someday update, update that for us so that we can do it on the app. And you can see here, he included a photo with details of the issue. So that is another fantastic way to do things. You always want to disclose any defects. This one sold for $850. Is that fantastic or what? Rockman, never even heard of it. Um, definitely will be looking for it. The next item he sold is this um, flatware. It says Christoffel, 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 Perels. Uh, sorry, guys. And it says beaded 67 piece silver plate flatware. What does be? Oh, okay. So I guess the um, outer edge is maybe considered beaded. I don't know too much about silverware. I thought that only like actual silver went for thousands of dollars, but this is only silver plate. So that is really cool, but it's a 67 piece. Uh, maybe it's a harder to find pattern, but he ended up taking a best offer of $1,500 for this. And that also came from his mother's estate. All right. Speaking of estates, antiques from Karen Janet inherited her mother's estate. And she did, um, I think she had shops and stuff like that. So she has a lot of really cool vintage and antique items. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't put a whole lot in her eBay store, 
but um, she does sell on live shows over on her YouTube channel. So if you want to see some of the stuff she has, you can check her out over there. All right. She sold this plaster chalkware. It's a Victorian Roman Greek style oval cast. I don't know what it is exactly, but she has a video here and she's going to show us details using the video. So the video option is a great option to really showcase your item and let people know the condition. It looks like it's three dimensional and just a really, really neat piece. She sold this for $55 plus shipping over on Facebook Marketplace. The next item she sold, and these were all from her mother's estate. This is a B&P diffuser lampshade, um, opal milk glass reflector student shade. So all of those keywords are fanta fantastic. I don't know what most of them mean, but she sold this for $149.99 and she has one still available. The next item she sold are these Turbo Mini Turbo Tricksters. And she didn't get back to me in time before I did the video to tell me what the best offer was. Um, but just a cool item. And anything new old stock is always a good idea to pick up. But she had it listed for $99.99. And uh, the buyer paid shipping on that. And over on Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's channel, she recently did a vintage lamps, shades, parts, and pieces. Let's talk about it. And um, they were on there together going through here. Let me go back here. They were going through Janet's house. Actually, I think it might have been Karen's house, her mom's house. They were going through it and looking at all the different lamps. And I'm going to tell you, she has some amazing stuff. So go check out that video. And I know she's doing part two um, also. So check out part two as well. That's over on Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's channel. All right. The next one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she has an awesome eBay store. Again, YouTube channels, eBay stores will be linked down below. Definitely go and follow these eBay stores and check out the YouTube channels. They have awesome reseller content and amazing stores, as you can see right here. Just fantastic. All right. What did she sell? She sold this 12-piece 2000 Department 56 Elvis Presley's Graceland. Check this out. How cool is that? Looks like a nightmare to ship. Uh, she sold this for $175. Um, and she got it at a garage sale for five bucks. The next item she sold is this fan. And she said this is not typically something she would pick up. But she got it at a garage sale for $10. And she took a best offer of $123. It's a new out of the box as NOB. Is that new? Open box. Open box. I apologize. Um, Wave 52 inch indoor fan. So real easy to look up. Probably can just scan the barcode with something like that. And it says here remote control. So let's say she got this fan home and I, I don't know, or it said on the box fan not working. You could buy and sell the remote as a replacement. Um, some of those replacements for the actual remote can go for big money, just the remote. So keep that in mind. The next item is this vintage. Did I? Yeah, she got that. At, yeah, 10 bucks. Vintage MCM mid-century modern Viking epic loop drape swung glass vase. Um, I keep seeing all of these bolos with this swung glass. They must just be something maybe that's trending right now. I don't know a whole lot about vases, but I keep seeing them and I keep seeing them selling for big money. Um, I saw somebody sell one over on Whatnot the other day for, and they did really well with it on Whatnot as well. Um, if you don't know, I'm going to be selling on Whatnot. I have a link down below that will take you to my Whatnot so you guys can follow me. Um, I'm gathering stuff to sell over there. So super excited about it. But if you use my link, you can get a $10 credit to buy. So, all right. This vase, she got at a garage sale for $15 and sold it for $109. All right. The next items come from Yard Sales and Dreams. And Danielle has an awesome YouTube channel. And we're going to talk about this diary right here. Um, you can go check out the video. Actually, you want to start with this one. What's inside this box that's been locked. And then you want to go over to the $5 um, diary. Okay. Uh, great, 
content over on her channel. She is a major bolo finder. We talked about this hat in uh, one of my recent videos that she sold for crazy money. So really, really cool stuff. All right. So what did she sell? She sold the diary and she said, I could have sold it for more, but I got impatient. Um, I do that too. Like if I get a good offer and I don't have a lot of money in it, I'll just take the offer. But what did she sell it for? Uh, she took a best offer of 70 and paid $5 for it at a yard sale. And, you know, she got some video content out of it. But these old diaries, this one's only from the 70s. It says vintage 1970s high school teen girl love handwritten journal, partial diary and letters. So her title is great. Her main um, picture is fantastic. And, you know, she did the video to kind of spice it up. So definitely a cool bolo. Keep your eye out for diaries. They can be big money. I haven't seen one. Uh, most of the ones I've seen have been older that have gone for more, but she did really good with this, 70 bucks. The next item she sold is this quilt. And she got this quilt at a yard sale for 10 bucks and she sold it for $150. It's an antique quilt, handmade feed sack fabric, 58 by 72 pink stitch stars and squares. And very cool. I've recently come across some quilts and I'm keeping two of them because my husband and I love them. And um, I've got some quilt toppers that I actually listed on eBay that are just the toppers that someone will have to finish. All right. The next item is this vintage Ohio barbershop certificate license foil glass advertising from 1945. How cool is this? She finds the coolest stuff. I got to tell you, you, you will find her channel very, very entertaining. Um, she sold this for $125 on best offer and she got it at a junk store for 12 bucks. And we have one more here. This one is a vintage lot of four Halloween blinky glow light jack-o'-lantern blow molds. They're just the nine inch ones and they're from the nineties, I think she said. So they're not super, super big. Um, she ended up taking a best offer of $65 on those and she paid a dollar each, I believe at a garage sale. All right. The next featured member is It's All Goods 94. And if you guys are interested in being in a video like this, you can join membership. There is a join button. Sometimes you can't see it when you're on your phone. So I also have it linked down in the description of the video. You have to be at level two to be in this video. All right. It's All Goods 94 does not have an eBay store. But if you click on the link that I provide down below, you can scroll through her listings like this. And check out some of the other items she has. She has a great store. Also, look at this cool Chuck E. Cheese crown. How cool is that? Oh, is it inflatable? It looks like it's an inflatable. All right. Just cool stuff over there. What did she sell? Wait until you see this. She sold this Disney Radco Cinderella ornament for $300. And she got it at a garage sale for 15 bucks. And shipping was crazy high. I don't know why the shipping shows that much. That's really odd. That's got to be a mistake. Huh. I'll have to ask her about that. That's interesting. Let's see. I don't know. That's really weird. Okay. The next item, unless there's a glitch on eBay with the shipping, because see right here, this shipping's, that's got to be a glitch. Something's going on there. $69.25. And it's a little ornament. And this is a big lava lamp for $15.85. Uh, vintage 1995 lava lamp. This sold for $75. And she picked this up at the Goodwill for $6. The next item is awesome. If you guys ever see these play school pipe works, definitely, definitely pick them up. Um, I did a whole video um, on HodgePodge. If you search my videos and you search HodgePodge, you'll see a whole series where I have featured his eBay solds. He is an amazing bolo finder, but he found some of these and he parted them out by style. And you will not believe what some of them sold for. So check out that video. He, um, or I'm sorry, she actually picked up two sets uh, at Savers for $6. So she didn't know it was two sets when she got it. But when she parted it out, it ended up being two sets. This set sold for $165 and on Best Offer. And the other one is still listed. All right. Three Ducks Resale. She recently just started her store. And I am super impressed. 
um, because I love her banner. She's got it all set up and she's got her little logo. It looks fantastic. So awesome, awesome, awesome. And she has a great eBay store as well. Here are some of her items that are currently listed. If you see something you like, you can go down and check out her store down below. I'm going to open it up here and show you a few more. Very, very cool stuff. And the three items that she sold, we're going to talk about those. All right. She sold this helmet. She said she didn't even realize it was signed when she purchased it. It's a Michael Irvin number 88 signed Playmaker Dallas Cowboys mini helmet. So you can see it's just a little guy. She probably just picked it up from the front like that and didn't even notice it. She got this at the Goodwill for $4.95 and took a bust offer of $60 plus shipping. The next item is this teddy bear. And I love selling plush. So I'm really glad she sent this one over. It doesn't look real fancy, you know, and it's not a big money bolo, but it's something that you see all the time at garage sales for like 50 cents. So these items do sell. This is an applause plush daffodil yellow stuffed teddy bear has tags from 1987. And somebody out there was looking for this bear and she found it at home. $28 plus shipping. The next item is this Insco Burnett Bride Growing Up Birthday Wedding Figurine. And she got this at the Goodwill for $4.75. And she sold it for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. Okay, we've got junk in our trunk. And she just hit 1,000 subscribers. Go and sub her up. Let's help her get to her 4,000 hours by watching some of her videos. Most of her videos are kind of short. Uh, they're just little quick what sold musics music, what sold videos that she has put to music and she just flips through them. So great way to learn about some Bolo items really quickly. And I love this one right here. It says, why did I buy little golden books? A lot of you guys would probably pass by those little golden books, you know, with the little like foil on the side, check out this video and see what she's selling them for. Some of them might surprise you. I was a little surprised. All right. She uh, got these vintage oil lamps and they're miniature primitive clear glass set of eight. So she had these listed individually. And I think she said she sold three or four for $24.99 a piece. And somebody messaged her and they wanted eight of them. So she sold the eight for $180. She picked 12 of these up at a sale for $6. So that is just huge. Great, great return. This one's awesome. It's a pop art rainbow stripe and eye bead necklace. Um, Carlo Sor Sor Sobral, I don't know. I know sometimes I find jewelry and it looks like something from an artist. And sometimes like the little hang tag falls off or they didn't sign the piece. Um, so that's what she did to draw attention to it in case it is actually that piece. The person looking for it's probably going to know. Uh, this one she got at the Salvation Army for $3.99 and sold it for a best offer of $46.99. The next item is this jacket. I'm like, can you please send me information on that jacket? Because it's just different. It's a vintage Cripple Creek, never heard of the brand, green tan southwestern jacket, size medium. Here is the tag. <laughs> Would you guys have picked this up? It's just different, right? Uh, she got this at the Goodwill Benz and she sold it for $55 plus shipping. The next item are these curlers. This is another one. I'm like, send me the info on the hair curlers. Um, she actually picked up two sets of these at a yard sale for two bucks and they're stackable. Isn't that cool? I just love it. It's almost like a piece of art. Uh, she ended up selling these for $30 plus shipping. All right, these next items come from Queen of Hearts Charnel, and she does not have an eBay store yet. But again, the link down below will take you directly into a feed just like this, and you can check out what she has listed. So she's got a lot of mugs and toys and just a wide variety of items in her store. Scroll through a little more here. And then, oh, look at that. Scrapbooking stickers, fun. All right. She sold this, uh, is it tapestry or tapestry? I never know. Tapestry, maybe? I don't tap, tape. Ah. Anyway, it's a large Alaska dog sled mush team morning of the, oh boy, 
Iderod Trail Vintage. She said she sells a lot of items that um, have to do with from Alaska or about Alaska. I'm not really sure what she meant by that. But I guess it's uh, she's in Washington. So very, very cool item. She got this at the Goodwill Bins and it sold for asking price of $53.77. The next item here is this 1993 Sesame Street Grungette doll with tags. And she told me a little story on this. And I'm going to show you here what it looks like. And it sold for $53.77 on auction. But she went in. Let me go into her feedback. And what she told me she did is she went like the extra mile uh, grouch. Let's look it up. It says, oh my gosh, they went above and beyond. Did not at all expect package to have its very own trash can. And my daughter is going to be over the moon. If I ever doubted this purchase once received, it's possibly the best eBay purchase I've ever made. Thank you so much. So she took a trash can and she like decorated it and made like a little house for this uh plush. So how cool is that? I mean, for somebody who's artsy, that's just a fun little thing to do. And she got awesome feedback. And I didn't hear back from her on what these, uh, where she got it or what she paid for it. But I thought this was really cool. A lot of a hundred, they're pin nibs. Check that out. And she's got like the little tags here. Interesting, right? Anybody ever sell these? And how did you guys do? Anybody sell them individually? I'm just kind of curious about this one. All right. The next item comes from Mom Knows Treasures. And it looks like she is doing, oh, nope, I'm sorry, a YouTube auction haul. I, I thought it said for a minute, live auction. Uh, my recent auction purchases for reselling on eBay. So she does a lot of shopping on YouTube. And then she does some unboxings for you guys to see. And she recently did... Um, a video about I sold a banana burger and a hot dog on eBay. And I'm going to show you guys that listing right now, but you can check out this little short video she did. But what she did was there's a little cool story behind it. We'll talk about that. Okay. This is her posh closet and I messed up here. Where is it? Uh, let me go into her solds. I was going to show you guys a sold item. I thought I had it pulled up, but I messed up. I wanted to show you these glasses that she sold. Uh, and what I'd like to point out is that you can sell glass on Poshmark. Um, a lot of people think that Poshmark is just clothing. No, I sell tons of hard goods on Poshmark. If you guys want to see hard goods that I'm selling on Poshmark, I have separate videos for that. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Poshmark and Mercari with List Perfectly. If you'd like to check out List Perfectly, there's a demo video in the description. And you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. Highly recommend getting your items on multiple platforms, you know, not having all your eggs in one basket and getting more and different eyes on your items. These are full, four gold glasses for Darrington RN. I don't know what that means. Oh, she said she had to bundle for someone. She said, I think she said she had two for 20. And somebody wanted all four of them. So she said she'd do four for 35. So um, they just, she did, uh, she just put it in the title so nobody else would buy it. And she sold those for $35. And let's see, where'd she get those? $1.99 each at a thrift store. The next item is this vintage patchwork quilt, pastel blue beige sage pink farmhouse. And she got this at a yard sale for 10 bucks and sold it for a best offer of 100 the next item, okay, so we've got the the Rare Amtoy Hamburger Hot Dog and Super Banana from 1982, 83, and 84. And she said that she got one of these, the hot dog, at an online auction for 7 bucks, And then she went to Mercari and bought the other two. So she was all in for all three for 30 bucks, and they sold for $125 plus shipping. So she probably got the one item and then wanted to make a set, so went to Mercari looking around. So pretty fun. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller, and she is taking a break right now from YouTube, and she will be back. So definitely sub up her channel. Um, I will link it down below. She has awesome live shows where she interviews other resellers, and you guys do not want to miss that. And I talked to her the other day, and she said something about doing a live listing soon. 
So stay tuned for that as well. All right, she sold. And I believe I did this video with her on her channel. We unboxed, um, she had purchased a box of toys from Auctions For You. If you guys have not checked out Auctions For You, definitely go and check her out and sub her up if you are looking for inventory. Her and Donatella Bottolino both do auctions. Uh, they also have Buy It Nows. They go back and forth on each other's channels. And I have sourced from them many, many times. But Carissa bought this box. Um, from auctions for you. And this little toy, I remember seeing it and I was like, Ooh, Ooh, we got to look that up. It's vintage. It's old. It's definitely going to sell. Even if it's not in perfect condition, it's a cool item. She ended up taking a best offer of $16 and three cents plus shipping. And I believe if I remember correctly, it was a $50 free shipping mystery box and it was jam packed full of toys. Uh, so go check out that video. Lots of cool stuff in there. But this is the Kenner Fairy Winkles Sweet Dreams Compact 1993. And it's just the seashell playset only. The next item um, comes from the Ben's Six Challenge that we did. So her and I and Dad Planet did a Ben's Six scavenger hunt. So we all three went into the Ben's and looked for items. If you type in hashtag Ben6, it will pull up all three of our videos. Super fun to watch us scavenger around for these items. She found this Halloween 4th of July Statue of Liberty costume, and she sold this for $26.34 plus shipping. And the next item was one of her winnings from another uh, thing. Uh, it was This Is My Bolo, and I do these where I have resellers that are members of the channel they send me a 60 second or less video and I put them all together and then I air the video and you guys get to see all these different resellers talking about a big money bolo. Well, in this particular one, it was a, um, a competition or a challenge to see who had the best bolo and everybody voted. Well, Carissa won this challenge. So everybody had to send her a thrifted gift. And this was one of her gifts. And she ended up selling this for $32.94 plus shipping. It's a pocket dragon messages in a box. World's best grandma 2000. So just a cute little item here and a nice little return on her free item. So check out Carissa Chosen Goods Reseller. Check out everybody mentioned in this video. Some really great reseller channels, great people, and great bolos. So thank you all so much for being here. Again, if you want to join memberships at level two, you can be in a video like this. And there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button and another video. And thanks for watching.